A big weekend for a statewide operation which did coordinated stings looking to stop human trafficking. A 75-year-old in Columbus was arrested twice on the same day for allegedly trying to buy sex in different parts of the city. Now, there were also operations locally, and I talked to the Mahoning County Sheriff about it. Hands up. Hands up. A statewide human trafficking crackdown meant a busy weekend for the Mahoning Valley Human Trafficking Task Force. It was out Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I think we had 23 arrests. Uh, four of the 23 were females. Keep your hands up. 160 okay. people were arrested in operations in every corner of the state. It was called Operation Buyer's Remorse led by the Attorney General's Ohio Organized Crime Investigations Commission. It's to send a message. You don't know if you're contributing to human trafficking when you buy sex in Ohio. Don't buy sex in Ohio. The charges against people filed locally included engaging in prostitution and possession of criminal tools. Most of the people statewide were arrested for engaging in prostitution. The goal, especially of the Attorney General, is to really reduce demand. Uh, if you're arresting the Johns, you're reducing demand for this type of illegal trade. The other part of the operation was talking to survivors of human trafficking and offering resources from health care and social service organizations. The attorney general said being trafficked for sex or labor robbed them of dignity. It makes them nothing more than a, a piece of property for somebody else's enjoyment. It's wrong. The Mahoning County Sheriff and Mahoning Valley Human Trafficking Task Force believe in the work they've been doing year-round on this front. Busting people looking for underaged individuals, human trafficking and prostitution, plus child pornography. That includes shutting down three massage parlors last year, two in Trumbull County and one in Austin Town. It sets the bait and, to surprise, people keep falling for the trap something that we're uh, very proud of because we've been very successful with it. The Attorney General's office said there were some suspected professionals among the people arrested. The youngest person arrested was 17 and the oldest was 84. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.